is of course prana or breathing due to the belief that controlled breathing exercises can help to energize the individual and the body as a whole. Siddha gives equal importance to the varmam or the intersection of bone, muscles, nerves and blood vessels as ancient Siddhas believed that disease emerged when these intersection points were adversely affected by external forces. Siddhas were able to design methods to restore one's health by focusing on these aspects of the body. And of course, the Siddha medical system is also based on extensive research on how herbs, minerals and animal parts can be harnessed for medical purposes. In a world where resources are depleting at an alarming rate, medical systems like Siddha, which do not depend on the large-scale production of chemicals or factories producing various pharmaceutical products, provide a way forward for a sustainable way of living. Siddha has been, has been successfully used for the treatment of degenerative conditions and chronic diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, nerve disorders, and diseases affecting the immune system. A recent study by the scientists of the International Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology in New Delhi has confirmed that the use of Siddha medicines can even keep dengue and chikungunya at bay. There was a report in the Hindustan Times on the 25th of January 2018 that revealed this, this uh, finding. Our country produces some of the best doctors in the world, yet we fail to provide basic healthcare services to a large number of our countrymen and women. 51% of Indian women suffer from anemia. One in four Indians die of heart-related issues. And it's estimated that by 2025, more than 60 million Indians will suffer from arthritis. In light of these alarming health statistics, Traditional <coughs> systems of medicine such as Siddha have an important role to play in our efforts to improve the health and the standard of living of our citizens. Institutions such as the Siddha Regional Research Institute, Tiruvannathapuram, therefore play a crucial role in our collective effort. The government's efforts in setting up the Central Council for Research in Siddha as an apex body for research and providing healthcare facilities of the Siddha system, as well as for the establishment of the National Institute of Siddha, NIS Chennai, to develop high standards of training, teaching, research, and also to provide medical care through the Siddha system of medicine and treatment must be appreciated. Nevertheless, much more needs to be done to promote this ancient knowledge. Unfortunately, knowledge about Siddha is largely restricted to parts of South India. The government should centrally sponsor Siddha healthcare programs and information awareness program, programs about Siddha, particularly in Northern India. And I would advise Dr. Ramaswamy to take this forward because healthcare parameters are relatively weak in Northern India, where a Siddha is seen as largely being confined to Tamil Nadu and Kerala, which is where the majority of Siddha practitioners may be found. I would say to correct this imbalance, the center should push for the establishment of many more institutes across the country where students can pursue Siddha courses, graduate and postgraduate courses. I've noticed that the Ministry of Ayush has signed MOUs of Malaysia, where of course most of the Indians there are South Indians, and even deputed experts to promote it in Sri Lanka, where we need to spend much more time and energy in promoting Siddha in our own country, north of Kerala and Tamil Nadu. The ministry should help in creating Siddha, Siddha, Siddha CGHS units across the country. But so far, there are only Siddha units for CGHS or under the CGHS scheme in Kerala and Tamil Nadu. In fact, uh, I think not even Kerala, only in, in Tamil Nadu. Only in Chennai and two other places. Yeah. yeah. So at the same time, we need to do this, we need to see more centers coming up, and the government must support research to ensure that only credible practices of Siddha are carried out, especially considering how Western interests would be more than happy 